Hello, I'm Dr. Rob Califf, Head of Clinical Policy and Strategy at Verily Life Sciences and Google Health. When COVID-19 uh, became a pandemic, uh, we began to notice that a large number of people were developing something that looked like a post-viral syndrome, and it's now known as long COVID. This is uh, much, much more common than with any virus that we've ever seen. Predominantly, young people and women having a variety of symptoms ranging from severe depression to uh, neurological dysfunction causing inability to uh, keep one's balance to uh, damage to vital organs like uh, kidneys and lungs that can go on for months and months. And so people talk about death as if it's the only uh, bad outcome from COVID-19. In fact, this long COVID syndrome is going to be with us for a long time. Interestingly, it begins to look like uh, vaccination may help some people uh, get over these symptoms of fascinating finding that still needs more research. Coronaviruses are known to mutate, and in fact, that's what's happened um, with the SARS-CoV-2 virus. These mutations are going on all the time. They're sort of like a mathematical probabilistic thing. That is, there's a certain likelihood that on any given day, a virus will mutate. Most of these mutations have no effect, but as a virus is trying to stay alive out in the world, when a mutation confers an advantage, that is, the virus is more infectious. Uh, that mutation begins to take over from the old form of the virus. And this has happened so that we have three or four dominant strains of the virus now caused by mutations. Some people have said that the vaccine affects fertility. There's absolutely no evidence this is the case, and there are many, many women who uh, have gotten pregnant after vaccination now. Based on all the history of vaccines, we have no reason to suspect there will be any problem, nor have we seen it. When the vaccines first became available, um, everyone was concerned about pregnant women because the trials that were done did not include pregnant women. But we now have thousands of pregnant women who have been vaccinated and who have been followed. And there is not a shred of problem in these women compared to the general population. But what we do know is that if one gets uh, infected with COVID-19 while pregnant. Uh, this is dangerous. Uh, pregnant women have a worse outcome if they uh, get infected with a virus. So the safest thing a pregnant woman can do is to get vaccinated.